Hello everyone, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation for a population. Now you can see right here I have population and that's just reminding us that we're dealing with a population. And we're going to be calculating the standard deviation using the definitional formula for the sum of squares. So you can see over here my x variable and I have my scores that are part of the x variable and our goal is to calculate the standard deviation of this set of scores in a population. And I have two intermediate steps here and that's what these two columns represent and they are just to calculate the sum of squares. So let's start, and, and whenever I'm setting up my page to calculate this, uh, this value, this standard deviation, I, I set it up like this. So I, I, can, always, I can always think about this, this template whenever I'm going to solve a new problem. And that, that keeps everything um, uh, simple and allows you to sort of uh, remember the steps involved. So I, I suggest you uh, remember this setup when you're doing your your, your calculation for standard deviation. So let's get started. Here you can see we have uh, uh, five scores. And so the first thing you're always going to want to do is to, is to tally up the number of scores in your, in your population. And since we have five, I'm going to write five right here next to our big N. And our big N, in case you uh, uh, haven't uh, remembered, is the the number of scores in our population. Now underneath that we have our our sum of x. So this is big Greek letter sigma next to x and that means the sum of x. So we're going to count we're going to count or, or sum up each of these values. So we have 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 that's going to give us 20. Okay, now here we have the Greek letter mu, and that refers to the population mean. So the mean of these five scores. And you can see the formula for mu is over here. It's mu equals the sum of x divided by big N. So we have it conveniently organized. Um, when you're doing this, just remember you're dividing sum of x by big N. So we have 20 divided by 5 is going to give us 4 for our population mean. Now we're going to move on to this column right here. We have x minus mu. So all we're going to do is calculate x minus mu and put that value in this column. So we have 1 minus 4 is going to give us negative 3. 5 minus 4 is going to give us positive 1. 7 minus 4 is going to give us positive 3. 3 minus 4 is going to give us negative 1. And 4 minus 4 is going to give us 0. Now we move on to the next column. It's x minus mu squared. So all we're going to do is square these values and put them uh, into this column. And now whenever you square a negative value it becomes positive. So negative 3 squared is positive 9. 1 squared is 1. Positive 3 squared is positive 9. Negative 1 squared is 1. And 0 squared is 0. Now you can see here I've conveniently located or placed this formula. Sum of squares equals the sum of x minus mu squared. And you can see that formula up here, number two. So all we have to do then is sum these values and we have our sum of squares. And if you sum 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1, we get a value of 20. That's step two. Now step three is our population variance. This is the Greek letter sigma and sigma squared is what we call population variance. 
So we're going to calculate the population variance right here. And pardon me if that looks like a 6. It's meant to be a sigma. Here we have our sum of squares. That's 20 divided by big N, which is 5. And we're going to get a population variance of 4. The final step, step number four, is to calculate the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation is simply the square root of the population variance. So we could have skipped the population variance step. But if you, if you wanted to uh, do it in two steps, right, you could just square root the population variance right here and you'll get two, right? When you square root four, you get two. Or you could just skip the whole population variance part, and that's what I'm doing right here, and we will get the exact same final answer, which is two. So our standard deviation of the population is two, and in this method we use the definitional formula for the sum of squares. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Other than that, stay tuned for my next video where I will calculate the population variance using the computational formula. Thank you and have a great day. Cheers.